Hey everybody, I wanted to give you um, some quick directions for completing the document analysis portion of the DBQ. So the document analysis portion is incredibly important and this is the area where you're gonna look at primary source documents or sources that are written by people who were there. So um, a primary source is a person who viewed what happened and a secondary source is a person who read about it or is writing about it secondhand. So for your DBQ, you have six primary sources to use, and these are all focused on industrial labor conditions and the progressive movement. So you can see like the first one is a um, document that is from Lewis Hines giving testimony to Congress. He's talking about breakers, which are kids working over to kind of sort out coal from the rock it's found in which is slate and so lewis hines is going to give you some idea of like what that's like what these conditions are and just kind of hopefully give you a sense of what it what the lives of these young men were so after you've read that you're going to see down below that there are actually some questions for you to answer and there are four questions and you're going to use the primary source material to answer those questions. So as you're going through, you're gonna to wanna to like find the information and then use it to answer these questions down below. You're gonna have six of these and you're gonna do the same thing with all six documents. So you can see the next one is about meat packing plants and it's an excerpt from Upton Sinclair's very famous book, The Jungle. And again, you have this one, you just have three questions to answer. You can see the next one is about a woman who's immigrating to the United States, and she's going to give some information about the Triangle Waistcoat Factory fire. And again, a couple of questions to answer. So the main idea behind using these primary source documents is that as you're going along, it's giving you the text evidence you need to use to support your thesis. And this is going to be the basis of your reasoning, the basis of your argument, and all of that good stuff for um, when you actually get to writing your essay. So you're going to go through all six of these. Um, none of them are super complicated. They should be able to, um, you should be able to get the answers pretty easily. And you should be able to then take that information and give yourself enough text evidence to write a great DBQ. All right, good luck.